Ugh. Hey, it's Jeffrey Lynn. If you're like me, you can't go a day without your medications. And one of the scariest things that can happen is if your insurance decides to deny any medications that were prescribed to you or any treatment that you desperately need. So in this video today, I want to talk about how you can appeal any denial because all of us, every insured individual, if you have an insurance plan, you have the legal right to challenge any uh, insurance coverage denial. So that includes every plan such as private uh, policies, employer-sponsored health plans, Medicare, uh, and Medicaid. Um, all of these will provide a process for your denial to be reconsidered. So actually for over 50% of the cases uh, that was initially denied, um, after they review it, they'll see that you actually do deserve to have that medication or that treatment and you'll um, get your coverage or you'll get reimbursed for any um, money that you already spent on these medications and treatments. Again, my name is Jeffrey Lin. On my channel, I share my personal journey with uh, triple severe chronic illnesses, rare diseases that doctors basically have no idea how to deal with it. And I was born with these conditions and throughout my life, I've just had to figure out hacks and uh, learn on my own how to deal with these medical cond conditions, how to um, work with doctors as well as just um, become a scientist myself and learn um, how to research and how to find treatments for myself. So um, please hit the subscribe button and we'll talk about these insurance coverages when we get back. So what is a health insurance denial? A denial is when your health insurance company notifies you that you won't be covered for the cost of your medication or treatment. And it could be super frustrating and scary sometimes if you're not able to fill a prescription or continue a treatment and face paying the full cost of the treatment because you, you just weren't expecting to do that. And to be honest, like it's probably way out of, uh, anything that you can honestly pay for. That's what the insurance is there for. So the good news is you have the right to appeal the decision. And while it could be time consuming to deal with many health insurance uh, denials actually gets resolved, like I said, more than 50% gets resolved through the appeals process. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you why you might receive a denial and what you can do about it in each situation. The first step to understanding why you got your denial is your insurance company will probably send you an email or a letter. Uh, it's called a explanation of benefits where um, it tells you uh, just why you were denied um, something that your insurance will send you. All right, so what's an appeal? When you file for an appeal, you are asking your insurance company to reconsider uh, it's the decision to deny covering any medication or treatment or service for your medical condition. And the potential of having your appeal approved is more than 50% of the denials are um, actually approved and then covered. And this percentage can be higher if you have an employer plan that is self-insured. The appeals process has some common elements across all health plans. Uh, but still, it's important for you to look over your specific plan and know how the process works for your specific plan and what information and documentation is required. Uh, these can be found in like your policy documents or your, your plan's website. And uh, if you have a plan with your employer, you can check with your company's human, uh, human resources handbook or department and they'll help you with this process as well. Uh, if you have Medicare coverage, you can check the Medicare and you handbook for this specific process. All right, so if your health insurance denied your claim uh, for coverage on a certain medication or treatment, 
Um, there are three different steps or levels for the appeal. The first level appeal is the first step of the process where you or your doctor contacts your insurance company and requests that they reconsider the denial. Uh, your doctor can speak with the medical reviewer of the insurance company and um, th this will be part of what's called a peer-to-peer -peer insurance re review. It's just your doctor working with the uh, medical reviewer at the insurance company in order to challenge this decision. The purpose of the first appeal is to prove that your service meets the insurance guidelines and that it was just incorrectly rejected. The second level appeal is the second step where uh, the appeal is typically reviewed by a medical director at the insurance company that was not involved with the initial claim decision. And the goal of this appeal is to prove that, again, um, the request for whatever medication or treatment should be accepted and is within the coverage guidelines. Um, both the first level appeal and the second level appeal is just to um, discuss with your insurance company um, whether if they miss something or they just incorrectly um, rejected uh, your your medical claim or your insurance claim and uh, just to fix that internally with the insurance company. Um, if that doesn't work, then the independent external review uh, is an independent reviewer with the insurance company and a doctor um, that has the same specialty as your doctor will assess the appeal and determine if they will approve or deny the coverage. So basically, there'll be a third party doctor that has the same expertise as your doctor and just review uh, your case file and to see if you actually need uh, the medication or the treatment that your doctor uh, recommended. If this independent review doctor agrees with your doctor, then uh, your insurance coverage um, will probably, then your appeal will probably go through because there's more than one doctor uh, who thinks that um, you need these medications or treatments. All right, so what are the common reasons for an insurance denial? First of all, it could be that your current care is not deemed medically necessary or appropriate. So what can you do about this? You can work with your doctor through your insurance plan's appeal process, as we just discussed, and provide proof that your treatment is medically necessary. The second reason why you might be denied is that your care is viewed as experimental or just an investigational, which means you're just testing out things, but there's not a lot of evidence that whatever you're trying will actually work. So what, what can you do about this? You should work with your doctor to show the insurance company that this experimental treatment or uh, investigational treatment actually is helping your condition improve. And you can also show this through data, um, research data and other uh, clinical uh, tests that have been done or other clinical guidelines that the insurance company might have missed. The third reason why your claim might have been denied is just errors like clerical errors, typos, misspellings, missing paperwork, missing data. So what can you do about this? You won't know immediately if this has happened, but it may be an important question to ask when you work with uh, your insurance company and your doctor to understand why your claim has been denied. The error could have been made on the insurance company side, it could have been made uh, at your doctor's office, you don't know. So work with member services of both your hospital, your doctor, and the insurance company to see uh, if everything is in order. Another reason why your claim might have been denied is that uh, the doctor you saw is out of your network. So. To solve this problem, you got to just check with your uh, insurance plan and 
what the participating doctor directory is. Um, if the doctor you saw was out of network, you will have to be responsible for some or all of the costs depending on your plan. Like for me, when I go to see my research doctors in Utah, that's out of my network, but there's a certain amount of like travel medical coverage uh, with my insurance plan that I can use every year. So I can, whenever I go to Utah, I just um, submit it as a, you know, seeing a doctor while I was traveling and that covers most of the costs. I still have to pay my copay, but other than that, um, usually they cover uh, most of my uh, costs when I go to Utah to see my doctors within a certain limit. If I, uh, when I was going to Utah to see my doctors every month, uh, eventually I hit that limit and then I'll, I had to pay out my own pocket. But now that I'm only going, you know, two or three times a year, um, most of my costs are covered, um, even though my doctors are outside of my network. The next reason why your claim might have been denied is that your medication or treatment required a referral or a prior authorization from your doctor, but you didn't have that. So the order of how you did things was wrong. So what can you do about this? You can confirm if you needed a referral prior to the authorization by checking uh, with your insurance plan documents or calling the member services and then you can work with your doctor to submit the appropriate referral or authorization so that starting from now you can get that covered as long as you have all the documentation and the authorization in order uh, last reason why your claim might have been denied is that your coverage has lapsed or you're no longer enrolled with the insurance company uh, through which the claim was submitted. So um, this could happen if, you're, if your company has switched insurance companies and um, your doctor was submitting <clears throat> and your doctor still thought you were with the old insurance company. So your doctor submitted the insurance claim to uh, the old insurance that you're not using anymore. So um, in this situation, you just got to check with your doctor and make sure that um, your doctor is submitting the insurance claim to your current uh, insurance company. You might also have to call your insurance company and make sure that you're still enrolled with them. And if there's any lapse in coverage, uh, just talk to them and see how you can correct that. All right, next thing to remember is to confirm with your insurance plan what the time limits are for uh, submitting the appeal uh, because if you miss that appeal window, then if you submit it too late, your appeal will just simply be denied. If your case is urgent, your insurance company should speed up this process. Your doctor will need to be part of the appeals process to confirm the medical necessity and the urgency of your request. Finally, recognize that the appeal process probably won't happen very quickly and it often requires filing the appeal several times. And uh, often patients who are initially denied eventually get approved for the coverage they need. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you like videos like this, please remember to hit the subscribe button. And just remember that the most important thing is just be persistent. I know this is a complicated process and it is frustrating, especially when you're sick and you're just desperate for relief, but uh, for most people that try the appeals process, you will get your coverage and um, you will be able to get the treatments and the, the medications that you need. So just stay with it. And if you guys have any uh, experience with medical appeals, insurance appeals, uh, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear uh, more about it, um, everybody's experience and how to deal with it. Um, I've actually been quite lucky and haven't had to do many appeals myself. So um, anything that you can leave in the comments below that can help others uh, in this community, uh, please do. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Jeffrey Lent out.